Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Today I'll be solving a chemistry question from Mike. It's short and sweet and it reads, what is the hydrogen to oxygen mass ratio of glycogen? And as always, let's start off with understanding the question. What do we mean by mass ratio? The mass ratio simply means a measure of the mass of an element in relation to the mass of another element. So for example, you could be comparing carbon to hydrogen in this case, or hydrogen to oxygen, and so on and so forth. This becomes really relevant as you advance further on in chemistry when you're uh, talking about converting mass to moles or moles to mass. So it's a good idea to get a full grasp of this early on so that later on when you get into more of the advanced chemistry questions, this doesn't stumble you. So the question is asking us to focus on the mass ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. In a case like this, I would actually start off with the molar mass of hydrogen and oxygen, which you would simply draw from the periodic table. The molar mass of hydrogen is approximately one gram per mole. In the case of oxygen, the molar mass is approximately 16 grams per mole. So knowing the molar mass is helpful, but it doesn't help us to establish a relationship between hydrogen and oxygen. For that, we would have to refer to the molar ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. And we derive this ratio from the glycogen compound itself. We can see here that for every mole of glycogen, there are 42 moles of hydrogen and 21 moles of oxygen. So now we've determined the mass of hydrogen and oxygen, and we've established a relationship or a ratio between hydrogen and oxygen. Now we can get down to business and actually convert what we have into a mass ratio. So let's start off with hydrogen. The compound tells us that there are 42 moles of hydrogen within glycogen. Now to convert that to a mass, we multiply that by the molar mass of hydrogen. After multiplying that through, we get 42 grams of hydrogen. Easy enough. Okay, so let's move on to oxygen. So we know that for every, within every mole of glycogen, there are 21 moles of oxygen. And again, to convert that into grams, we have to multiply this by the molar mass of oxygen. After multiplying that through, we find that there are 336 grams of oxygen within the glycogen compound. Now that we've calculated the respective masses, we can go on to the next step and convert that into a ratio because the question is asking us to find the mass ratio. So what we know now is that there are 42 grams of hydrogen atoms for every 336 grams of oxygen. We could stop there, but co it's common convention to simplify that. And we do that by taking the lower number, in this case, which is 42 grams of hydrogen, dividing that through for both hydrogen and oxygen. So here I've divided 42 grams of hydrogen by 42 grams, and then 336 grams of oxygen by 42 grams. And when we reduce that, when we calculate that through, we find that the reduced ratio is one gram of hydrogen to eight grams of oxygen, or simply one to eight. So what is the hydrogen to oxygen mass ratio of glycogen? It is one to eight. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.